Hi you guys, Lukepuck here and welcome to another FIFA 19 team of the season play review and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the 95 rated Serie A and ultimate team of the season, Giolini, his cards for the most part does look pretty awesome and he did cost me 308,000 coins and in the four games that I played him with he scored me one goal and got me zero assists and he does have a three star big foot as well as two star skill moves. Moving along to his game stats, his main still stats are going to be his 98 marking, his uh, 98 stand tackle, his 99 reactions and finally his 97 strength and it did have the anchor chemistry style applied to this team of the season Giolini now as I said before right at the start of the video for the most part this does look a pretty awesome card having said that I think his passing does lack a little bit for a centre back and also I think his pace uh, isn't good enough really for this stage of FIFA in my honest opinion uh, for the amount of coins that he does cost having said that his strength stats his defending even some of his dribbling stats are phenomenal and uh, I have to say on the whole He's decent, but I don't know whether I'd pay 308,000 coins for him. There's no doubt he'll go cheaper again over the next week, obviously. Uh, I do presume we will get an ultimate team of the season guaranteed SBC. What the requirements for that are going to be like, I'm going to say, for example, it's going to be you have to submit two team of the season cards and maybe an 86 or 87 rated squad. But because of that, uh, that SBC and also the fact that he's going to be in red player picks again, he will go further down in value. Uh, I think he's dropped right now to dead on 300,000 coins. So he will definitely go down, I reckon, to around. 250,000 coins um but yeah straight off the bat i don't think i'd recommend buying him for the full like 300k i don't think i don't know it, it's just i think he's decent uh, and i think his defending stats and, and strength stats are actually fantastic and we'll talk about those they're like the main good parts but i do think he just lacks in pace and in his passing which i kind of see at this stage of fifa important stats that have to be really high on a center back for them you know to be worth buying in my opinion but anyways first bro will be tackling obviously his defending stats all rather insane with the anchor carousel all of his defending stats apart from uh, heading accuracy and interceptions go to 99 and even so his, his heading and uh, interceptions do go into the high 90s themselves which is very good uh interception stance tackle very good indeed also his marking as well was pretty awesome just insane stats all around for reggie uh, as you would expect obviously with his tackling and stuff so uh that being a, a very good part of the card and the second pro as well will be his strength obviously a tall defender coming in at the heights of i'm pr pretty sure he's over six foot yeah six foot two and also 97 strength and 99 aggression makes it uh easy to kind of you know knock people off the ball by using the strength and stuff like that which is also um pretty awesome so again great status as i said before for is defending and physical and in my opinion there's no massive issue to this card yes I don't think his pace is fantastic yes I don't think his uh, passing is very good either and yes 68 stamina is not desirable in my opinion when I look at this card I, if I look at this card in the market if I'm trying to buy you know if I'm trying to buy a new defender for my team and I, and I see this Giolini card on the market so he's going for 300,000 coins I tell you right now looking at that stamina at 68 is a big put off in my opinion now was it bad in game no, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad at all in game, to be quite honest. Uh, I never really remember him ever getting uh, tired, you know, throughout, throughout the game or anything like that. I never remember his stamina being that much of an issue. Having said that, I haven't put him through foot champions where there's always the, you know, risk of potential uh, extra time or stuff like that. And I do think at times, I, when I was using him, I wish his pace was a bit better. Yes, I applied the anchor chem style too much, actually does increase his pace, um, you know, a small increase on the pace but even despite that I still didn't think his pace was fantastic it's not terrible at the same time I just was expecting him to be a little bit I wanted him to be a little bit quicker at times and also he just missed place some passes as well which in my opinion it, it's very good obviously defenders being able to you know get strength to get the ball back or you know be able to make good tackles and stuff but also I like my defenders to be able to play the ball out of danger and Gini was someone that could kind of do that but not to the best ability really uh, he wasn't the best at being able to pick out passes which I see at this stage of FIFA maybe not day one of FIFA but at this stage of FIFA I see that as passing to be a pretty important stat in my opinion on a defender and I don't think Giolini was the best at doing that um, so overall would I recommend buying this card not for his full price no I think maybe 200,000 coins really maximum maybe 250 I, I, I don't know um, I, I think there's other better cards in the game first of all I think the likes of um, you know Laurent Blanc's prime icon moments card or that 95 Ramos SBC that we had are just so much better value for coins than the Giolini card and um, in my opinion it's a card that I think it's great if you can get him for free just by playing the game and stuff like that but it's not one that I would go out of my way to personally buying off the market but anyway guys that is going to finish up this video thank you very very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.